Hello everyone and welcome back to the Cloud Immersive Power Automate tutorial series. In this video, I'm going to show you how to easily convert a docx document to text using the Cloud Immersive Document Conversion Connector in Power Automate. This connector isn't just limited to docx conversions, but I'm using a docx file in this video as a common and easy example of how to do this. Let's get started. From the Power Automate homepage, Click Create and then select Instant Cloud Flow on the next page. Give your flow a name and then select Manually Trigger a Flow. Click Create at the bottom when you're ready to move on. To start the flow, first introduce the file you want to convert. Click New Step and then type Get File Content into the Operation search bar. Select the option that aligns with the application your file is stored in, in my case, SharePoint Online, and follow steps to ensure that connection is live. After that, click on the folder icon below to navigate the folder path to find the file you want to convert. Once that's done, click New Step again and this time type Cloud Immersive into the operation search bar. Select the document conversion connector with the green logo from the list of options below. If it's your first time using this connector, you'll be prompted to input your Cloud Immersive API key and name your connection at this stage. You can obtain an API key easily by visiting our website, www.cloudmersive.com, and creating a free account with no financial commitments. Once entered, your information will save for the next time like mine has. To find the right connector action, search Document to Text and select that option. Once selected, all you need to do is click on the parameter search bar and select File Content from the Dynamic Content window. This will pull the contents of the file that we chose from the previous step. To wrap up the flow, click New Step one last time and type Create File into the search bar. Choose the option that aligns with the application you want your new file to be saved in. I'm using SharePoint again for the sake of simplicity, so once again I'm selecting that option and then taking the necessary steps to enable that connection. Next, it's time to define the new folder, name, and content of the converted file. Click on the folder icon under the Folder Path search bar to find and select the new folder for your file. Then, give your file a name and give it the .txt suffix. Lastly, click on the File Content search bar and select Output Content from the Dynamic Content window. This will make sure the new file contains the exact content created from this operation. With this final step complete, click Save at the bottom of the page, and then click Test in the upper right corner of the page. Select the option to trigger manually, and then click Test at the bottom, followed by Continue and Run Flow. You'll know the flow was successful when green check marks appear in the upper right corner of each operation. This means there are no obvious errors, at least, and in order to make sure the flow worked correctly, you'll need to check the folder that the new file was sent to. As you can see here, I have the newly converted file sitting in the folder I specified. With this flow in place, you can now put your text document conversion needs to rest. Thank you for watching this video. Stay tuned for more Cloud Immersive Power Automate tutorials in the near future.